And we're back to using Photoshop's generated fill. Let me show you how you can use it to turn a horizontal into a vertical video. Truth be told, it works only on static shots. So you don't want to have movement of the camera. So in this shot, the guy moves his head quite a lot, but that's not a problem as long as the camera is static. You can see upscaling would get rid of the laptop here. I don't want to have that. I want to have something like this. Click on export frame right here. Let me call that tutorial. I export it as a JPEG. Then switch to Photoshop beta, where you can use the generated fill. Make sure that you have the size set. So for vertical videos, 1080 times 1920. Now import your frame, just like this. And we have these black areas that we want to fill. I use the rectangle marquee tool. I have it set to add parts to selection so that I can select both parts, top and bottom at the same time. Just click on generate a fill and confirm via generate. We don't need a prompt here. Let it do the work. And the first one already looks good. You may have to regenerate it a couple of times if the results aren't that good. But in this case, I was lucky. The first one was already fine. Next step is to make everything invisible, but this generated fill layer. Afterwards, go to File, Export. It needs to be exported as a PNG. I used a quick export. I call it Tutorial 2. Put it somewhere where you can find it. Switch back to Premiere Pro. Import your Tutorial 2 PNG. So you can, for example, just drop it here in the project menu. Drag it in your timeline, put it on top of the video clip, make it as long as the video clip. And now we've turned this horizontal into a vertical video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.